tennis world meet Simona Hallam, the WTA's new number one. Breaking news to bring you because Simona Halep has been banned for four years for anti-doping rule violation. Join me as we explore the rise and fall of Simona Halep. We witness the incredible highs and the challenging lows that have defined her career. From a young girl with a dream to become a Grand Slam champion and world number one, to now being banned from the sport for the use of a drug called Roxana Dusta. Her path is a testament to the indomitable high and lows of tennis. First, who is Simona Halep? What is the starter story of the tennis sensation? Simona Halep, born in Constanta, Romania, began her tennis journey at the age of four. Young Simona was not known to be a sports enthusiast until she started accompanying her mother to watch their firstborn, Nicole, practice tennis. However, while her brother quickly gave up the sport, Halep's passion for tennis only grew stronger. Training twice a week at first, she then progressed to daily practices at the leading tennis club in Constanta with the support of a generous sponsor. At just 16 years old, Halep made the courageous decision to move away from her family to train in Bucharest, where she could pursue her professional tennis career with greater focus and determination. Halep's talent and dedication were evident from a young age. Simona Halep turned professional in 2006. She won four singles events on the ITF Junior Circuit. And in 2008, she achieved her childhood dream of winning the girls' French Open title catapulting her to the top of the junior world rankings. Halep made her WTA main draw debut in 2010 at the Andalusia Tennis Experience, where she reached the quarterfinals before losing to Flavia Panetta. She then reached her first WTA final at the 2010 Morocco Open, but lost to Vida Benisova. Halep also made her Grand Slam debut in 2010, but lost in the first round of both the French Open and the US Open. She ended the year ranked world number 81. Simona Halep's early career was marked by steady progress and occasional setbacks. But in 2011, she began to show signs of greatness. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Simona Halep made her breakthrough in 2011, reaching the third round of the Australian Open and the second round of Wimbledon. She also recorded her first top 10 victory, defeating world number six, Li Na, in the opening round of the US Open. Halep's, <laughs> Halep's strong performances continued in 2012, as she reached a career high of world number 37 and finished the year ranked world number 47. She also reached the final of the Brussels Open, where she lost to Agnieszka Radvanska. Trouble in the opening set by Simona Halep. But in the second, the Romanian struggling with an injury. Then the year 2013 came in the Italian Open, a prestigious event, and a young, determined Simona Halep strides onto the court where she is to face none other than the formidable Serena Williams in the semifinals. Semifinalist four times tomorrow. The tennis world held its breath as this fearless newcomer took on the reigning champion. While she ultimately fell short, her performance sent shockwaves through the sport hinting at the greatness yet to come. But that was just the beginning of her great journey. Halep's breakthrough came at the 2013 Nuremberg Cup, where she claimed her maiden WTA title. Halep sealed her four singles title of the season with an ace. And with the ultimate... The taste of victory was sweet, and it whet her appetite for more. So, she didn't stop there. The very next week, she added another title to her growing collection at the Top Shelf Open. Her meteoric rise saw her win a third WTA title at the Budapest Grand Prix. And just like that, she soared to the 23rd spot in the global rankings. A relentless Halep, charging through the 2013 season, clinching titles left and right. She conquered New Haven, defeating the formidable Vitova. Then she showcased her prowess in Moscow, where she triumphed over the experienced Stosur. And that's it, she's done it. Then, the icing on the cake was her victory at the WTA Tournament of Champions. As the year drew to a close, Simona Halep stood tall at world number 11, a testament to her indomitable spirit. In recognition of her spectacular transformation, Halep received the prestigious WTA Most Improved Player of the Year award. It was a fitting accolade for an athlete who had turned her dreams into reality through sheer hard work and perseverance. The following year, 2014, brought even greater heights for Simona Halep. She stormed into her first major quarterfinal at the Australian Open, 
taking on the relentless Dominika Sibakova. While the outcome wasn't in her favor, her presence in the quarterfinals signaled her arrival on the big stage. Uh, yeah, it was my dream before uh, starting this year to play quarterfinals at Grand Slam. Then came the Qatar Open, where Halep's star shone even brighter as she claimed her first Premier 5 title. Yeah, uh, this title is uh, very important for uh, my mind because uh, I have more confidence now. The final victory over Angelique Kerber was a masterclass in determination and skill. A semi-final appearance at Indian Wells solidified her status among the tennis elite as she surged to the number five spot in the world rankings. But it was on the clay courts that Halep's magic truly unfolded. The Madrid Open in Roland Garros witnessed her in the finals, displaying her clay court prowess for all to see. These exceptional performances propelled her to world number three, making her a force to be reckoned with. Simona Halep's journey is a captivating tale of dreams realized through unwavering determination and a thirst for victory. So, let's continue our thrilling exploration of her incredible career, and if you're enjoying the video, please press the like and subscribe button. Simona Halep continued her meteoric rise in 2014, reaching the semifinals of Wimbledon before losing to Eugenie Bouchard after suffering an ankle injury. She recovered in time to win the inaugural Bucharest Open in her home country, which saw her rise to number two in the rankings. However, she was upset in the third round of the U.S. Open and did not play another event until the year-end WTA Finals, where she finished runner-up to world number one, Serena Williams. The Romanian had a strong start to 2015, winning the Shenzhen Open, Dubai, and Indian Wells before losing in the semifinals of the Miami Open. She underperformed at both the French Open and Wimbledon, losing before the third round at each event. However, she rebounded during the hard court season with runner-up finishes at both the Canadian Open and the Cincinnati Open. She then produced her best Grand Slam result to date, reaching the semifinals of the US Open before losing to Flavia Panetta. She qualified for the WTA Finals, but failed to reach the knockout stage. Despite her mixed results, Halep finished the season with a career best year-end ranking of world number two. Simona Halep reached the French Open final in 2017, but lost to Yelena Ostapenko. She also finished runner-up at the Cincinnati Open and became world number one for the first time. However, she failed to advance out of the group stage at the WTA finals. Halep won titles at Shenzhen and Montreal in 2018 and reached the final of the Australian Open. She finally won her first Grand Slam title at the French Open defeating Sloan Stevens in the final. She won her second Grand Slam title at the Canadian Open, defeating Stevens again. However, she ended her season early due to injuries. Halep won Wimbledon in 2019, defeating Serena Williams in the final. She also reached the quarterfinals of the French Open, but lost to Amanda Anasimova. She finished the year ranked world number four. Simona Halep's ascent to the top of the WTA Tour was a thrilling roller coaster ride marked by both exhilarating highs and discouraging lows. Despite facing formidable obstacles, including injuries and heartbreaking Grand Slam final defeats, Halep persevered with unwavering resilience and an unbreakable spirit. Halep's journey was not without its challenges. Injuries, the bane of many athletes' careers, tested her mettle time and again. These setbacks forced her to confront moments of doubt and frustration, but they never shook her belief in her own abilities. Halep's resilience in the face of adversity was nothing short of inspiring. Despite experiencing heartbreaking defeats in Grand Slam finals, she returned to the court with renewed determination and an unquenchable hunger for success. Halep's unwavering resilience and unbreakable spirit propelled her to the pinnacle of the WTA Tour, where she reigned supreme as world number one for several weeks. Her inspiring journey is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. Simona Halep's doping scandal is a dark chapter in her otherwise illustrious career. The four-year ban imposed on her by the tribunal is a severe blow, and it is uncertain whether she will be able to return to the sport at the highest level. Halep's denial of any wrongdoing and her claims of contamination have been met with skepticism by some, but she has also received support from many fans and players. Ultimately, the truth about what happened is only known to Halep herself. Regardless of the circumstances, the doping scandal has had a devastating impact on Halep's life and career. She has lost millions in prize money and sponsorships, and her reputation has been tarnished. 
She has also spoken publicly about the mental health challenges she has faced as a result of the scandal. It is difficult to say what the future holds for Simona Halep. If she is able to return to the sport in 2026, she will be facing an uphill battle. She will be older and less experienced than her competitors, and she will need to rebuild her fitness and form. However, Halep has always shown tremendous resilience and determination, and she should not be underestimated. Only time will tell whether Simona Halep will be able to make a successful comeback. However, her doping scandal is a reminder of the importance of clean sport and the devastating consequences that can result from doping. Halep's story is a complex one, marked by both triumph and tragedy. Her rise to the top of the WTA Tour was nothing short of remarkable, but her career was ultimately derailed by a doping scandal. It is impossible to say for certain what the future holds for Halep. She maintains her innocence and has expressed her desire to return to the sport in 2026. However, even if she is able to do so, it will be a difficult and uphill battle. She will be older and less experienced than her competitors, and she will need to rebuild her fitness and form. Ultimately, Halep's legacy will be defined by both her accomplishments and her downfall. She was once one of the greatest tennis players in the world, but her doping scandal will forever tarnish her reputation. However, her story is also a reminder of the power of redemption and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. Despite the challenges she faces, Simona Halep remains an inspiration to many. Her resilience and determination in the face of adversity are truly admirable. Whether or not she is able to make a successful comeback to tennis, her story will continue to serve as a reminder that anything is possible if you set your mind to it. What do you think the future holds for Simona Halep? Will she be able to make a successful comeback to tennis? Or will her doping scandal ultimately define her legacy? Let us know your opinion in the comments. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.